Hello students, introduction to NoSQL. In this topic, we'll understand what is the use of NoSQL, what are different types of NoSQL. NoSQL, it is not only SQL, non-relational. As we understand in relational database, we usually store the inter tables. In a non-relational, we store without schema. It has objects, key value pairs or tuples. It provides a mechanism for storage and retrieval massive amount of unstructured data. It is free from joins as in SQL we use the joins. Today's industry needs a very agile system which works very faster. It provides the integrated caching so that data can be retrieved at faster rate. Continuous data availability in case of a no SQL whereas RDBMS provides the limited and blocks the data many a time because it, it has some locking mechanisms and consistency checking during two phase commits. When no SQL it executes parallelly, it stores information parallelly and also uh, is not blocked during the node communication. Scale up and scale out as it can store huge amount of data we can easily scale up and easily we can scale down but it's very difficult in case of a RDBMS is a costlier and more complex servers are needed. NoSQL has a various applications especially in case of a gaming social and internet of things whereas web mobile enterprises are the applications of NoSQL as well as SQL also. As we can see in NoSQL we don't have a uh, uh, non-relational but we require some relational kinds of joins are there, relational tables are there but in NoSQL we have key value store, document type of databases and column family stores are there. Use of NoSQL in the industry, it uses, uh, NoSQL is used for session store also. It can store the user profile because every profile has a different attributes or number of attributes are not similar which has a very different different uh, numbers of uh, profile attributes. It contain management, metadata information like in social networks we usually have a post, post has some repost or it has a sub post also. In a blogs also we have comment and sub comments also. And mobile applications which stores the continuous data required to retravel also. Third party data integration is also possible in case of NoSQL. In internet of things data is coming at various sources and at different speed. E-commerce also uses it. In social gaming, it is popular as, as well as also used in ad targeting. Types of NoSQL databases basically it is divided into four categories key value, column family, graph, and document. Column type has the this is a row, and when we are going for the column, so it is a name Pankaj Rahul. So it is separately divided column wise. And the same way in the row, if we are writing in the Pankaj 20, Alvar 5000 and the second row, row and then the second row. In the column, we first of all, we write the first column, Pankaj and Rahul and the values from the second column, the 20 and 21. This is how it is stored in the column type databases. Graph databases, these databases are designed for data whose relations can be represented as a graph. Number of relations among them, graph store databases used to store the information about the network, such as social connections. There are example is like a hypergraph or Neo4j. These are the example of graph databases. Document databases generally it is used for post on social networking or some blogs. It is used there because we are not aware how many attributes and its values will be there. Take this example in a first and second we have three attributes and three values to it. But in the third example we have four attributes and four values in, the, in a document. And corresponding document, it has its key, which will be the unique one. Then there is a CAP theorem. CAP theorem consists of three main attributes. That is a consistency, availability, and partition tolerance. Consistency guarantees all the storage and the replicated nodes have the same data at the same time. Availability means every request is guaranteed to receive the success or failure response. Partition tolerance guarantees guarantees that the system continues to operate in a spite of arbitrary partitioning due to the network failures. Thank you.